why did I join Tesla? Pay and prestige, right? <laughs> um, not just that, I wanted to accelerate my learning and experiences. I also wanted to build products that impact customers and users. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not a bad thing to chase after you know, stability in those areas. But those were just some of my personal reasons why I wanted to join Tesla and why I wanted to get into big tech. So how can I improve my technical skills? That's also another question I get a lot. Um, number one, learn your fundamentals, build meaningful projects, identify your skill sets, and practice technical. Um, learn your fundamentals. So learning to code, um, learning best practice uh, patterns and best practices. So this is very basic. If you go to college, you'll learn that. If you can also do it on your own. Um, I learned to code on my own. I didn't do a lot of programming in college. I, like I said, I was an electrical engineer. Next, I built meaningful projects. And what I mean by that is don't get stuck in tutorial hell. Don't put projects on your resume that you followed on a tutorial blindly. Um, I would really encourage you to solve a real life problem you experienced, you personally experienced. Uh, next, identify your skill set. Find out what do you want to do. Um, is it front end, back end, or full stack? But just being really, um, really giving it some thought to where you want to end up with. I know it's really hard. That's why mentors are available to help you narrow that scope. And then lastly, uh, practice technicals. So Leak Code, Hacker Rank, if you haven't heard of those websites, it's um it's like these coding puzzles that big tech usually uses and i'll go through like the different uh interview types that big tech uses um they usually test on object oriented programming or sometimes trivia uh, which means questions like what does a function do uh, and mastery of technologies so that is personally what i experienced um, it was my they were testing my mastery of how I how good I was at these technologies. So there's different types of technicals. 80 to like 90 percent of those are those leak code hacker ranks. But my personal experience, I got the mastery of technologies. So it's not all about technicals. And I've spoken to a few um, recruiters, hiring managers, and it's really not all about technicals, especially early on in your career. You do need the foundations and the fundamentals, like I said earlier. But um, behavioral skills matter a lot. Yeah, and in big tech, these are some of the most important behavioral skills um, that you should work on. Communication, teamwork, problem solving, and constant learning. So these are the kind of skills I would say during an interview um, they would be looking for. So communication, that's a huge, huge one. If I had to pick one, it would probably be communication <laughs> because it's just so like transferable to all of the different skills. Teamwork, being positive to work with, being a positive presence, um, just not being a downer in your work and being like optimistic and not kind of bumming out the vibe of the team, uh, which brings me to collaboration and trust. Um, I work with, um, I collaborate a lot with my teammates and it is really hard for me to trust my teammates sometimes because I'm a perfectionist and I like to do things uh, my own way, but I can't, I can't do everything alone. Next is problem solving. Um, if you are somebody who does not give up and works with ambiguity and ambiguity is like the unknowns, working with unknowns, um, that's a really, really big one. We really look for that in big tech and your resourcefulness, which means like, you know, even if you don't know what the answer is at that time, at that point in time, you will find ways to find out what the answer is. You will start somewhere, anywhere, constant learning, being able to learn from mistakes and practicing skills and upskilling. So upskilling is like a really big thing in tech because technology is always changing and you wanna stay up to date. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about other tips to break into tech. This is more targeted towards um, students, like college students or early career students. So number one, you wanna start with a really strong resume. And I, again, this is not a resume workshop, but we can talk more about it. Oh, uh, you start, wanna start with a really strong resume showcase your skills and impact it's really 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 important people usually write down their responsibilities in their resume and we you know anyone can write responsibilities you know like you were responsible for this you were responsible for that but showcasing your impact and skills will really set you apart from your competition so i would use that to leverage your previous experiences as well 
networking and mentorship. Um, we talked a little bit about mentorship before, but building relationships with your industry peers, huge. Like I, I use LinkedIn for visibility. Most of my, most of my job offers that came in were through LinkedIn, were through recruiters coming into my inbox. And I, I did not work in big tech before this. So it was because I was networking with other people, talking to them, learning about them, learning about their journey, using LinkedIn to my advantage. Um, speaking on that, putting yourself out there, putting, I put myself out there. Like I really, really did. <laughs> I showcased what I was capable of for more visibility. I created portfolios, content, I made some websites and I posted and walked people through the journey of all that. You can see that on my LinkedIn, like through my post history. Um, and finally, just start and don't give up. Start with what you have and where you are, exhaust all your resources and seize every opportunity. And I put this in here because tech is really hard to break into, especially your first company, if you do not have a target profile really just start and don't give up because that's what i did i did not give up it's like a it's like it has ups and downs right but as long as you keep going that's the point i'm trying to make um is it important to get an internship with a big tech company in order to break into tech i would say it definitely helps like i would make that a priority but not so high of a priority that you forget everything else you know what i mean for the portfolio you mentioned would github be better to showcase our codes yes github is great um Yes, GitHub is great. I would, I would definitely like if you can make documentation, like a README file, um, and make it really clear what you're doing for your projects. That would be phenomenal. What would you say if you could not really solve the problem case that gave you in the interview? Very good question. So I have had many questions where I did not know the answer. And honestly, my Tesla interview, I did not know the answer. Um, so I was given a task. And I told the interviewer, I told the interviewer, this is a trick question. This is impossible. You're tricking me. Um, and she said, no, this is not a trick question. And then she gave me a hint. And then that hint unraveled everything. And I was like, oh, okay. So, and then, um, then I started coding it out and I started doing what I needed to do, but in other questions where I don't know the answer, I usually pick a starting point. You can always break the question down to smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller parts until you know something.